what's up guys and welcome back to the channel for another war and order video and today we're gonna be discussing about an elite war we had from TAC against DBD and we're gonna comment down all the strategies all the info about this war specifically so let's get to it now the first thing about elite wars is uh, the fact that uh, first of all as an individual you want to be using your best army you have and by best I mean you activate every single buff increase the troops and of course use the best of your troops uh, second of all is participation it's one of those events where it doesn't matter how big or what the potential of your alliance is it's more important of how much uh, how many people are actually going to be joining in the war now for this one we had the uh, 44 people getting online for the war on each side so all overall total of 88 players joined this war and the first thing that uh, was on our mind when it comes to strategy is to get to the 10th stronghold which is the middle one getting a uh, control of that is gonna give you a really good strategic position and this is what was on our minds now to get to the tent before the enemy and uh, ensure us that uh, good strategic position uh, we started pretty slow and relaxed so we weren't like speeding in towards the tent it was kind of just waiting about it I was the only guy that was speeding up just because I do believe that uh, this type of events also require a certain amount of mind games so it's what i mean with that is you it's much more likely that the players are gonna want to go towards an empty stronghold that just waits for you to get there than one that's already occupied and uh, is gonna be defending because uh, yeah it's just a mind game from my perspective so that's why i was kind of speeding up towards the 10 just to get there and make it blue for the enemy to see it now if you look at uh, everything that's happening on the map you can see that our plan was clear we're going to the tent where the enemy was already splitting up they were taking the first stronghold in front of their main castle but that's more of a defensive position because you can clearly see that they were already teaming up for the top specifically and also sending people in the bottom because we send the majority of our army in the center which means there's very few people uh, defending the back and even though the tent is a good strategic position it does take a while to get back if the enemy uh, hits your main castle so what they did was a good strategy if you don't have the army to hit the main castle you need to start positioning on the sides to get a good position and maybe a good opportunity to defeat the main castle troops but uh, even though you cannot really plan ahead what's going to happen throughout the war the one thing that you can do is uh, make two teams having the defense team and the attack team obviously the attack team is going to be the big one the one with the majority of the players but you still want at least seven to eight players uh, ready to defend at all time like for example you can see that we are still waiting to on their next move we are in a much better strategic position than them so we don't have to rush into things and do stuff we can wait for them to make a mistake and then attack because we only need uh, this stronghold and then straight into the main castle we go uh, one thing that you can do if you are in the red team position is try to delay the main army because the main army is again in the tent so you can see we're starting to uh, slowly march towards their uh, next stronghold and they are marching towards the tent but they're also marching on the top side which uh, this is exactly what we were looking for this is why we're not speeding any attacks we wanted to see their reaction if they didn't react on time we would have just continued but they are starting to attack on the top side so the call was to recall the attacks back to tent 
keep defending that position and first focus on defending their uh, side attack. We already have one person uh, keeping them busy and the next ones uh, join in. So right now it's all a matter of uh, making sure that the attack fails so we don't have to worry about it. They do have people in the ninth, but that's still far away from getting to our main stronghold. So once we deal with the, this side attack is when we're gonna reconsider what we're gonna be doing with our main. Because I do believe even though we had uh, we had the same amount of players online on each side, the way they were splitting up where you had a lot of people on the side means they don't have enough people in their first stronghold. So we always have the possibility of sending our attack team to take that stronghold considering they're not in a position to defend it. But again, we have no reason to rush things and we have no reason to risk anything because we have the better position to give us the advantage of just waiting for them to do their mistake. As you can see the defense team is slowly but surely dealing up with the attack in the in the top part of the map and you can also see they're starting to group up towards the bottom which made me recall used uh, a few speed ups to get to get to the main stronghold wasn't necessary but I prefer to be sure because I don't know how strong the guy is and even though 14 people are already in the main one I prefer to be there just in case because I can as, fa as fast go back to the tent. The advantage of having the tent, the center stronghold is you only go th through two strongholds to get there. So it's very cheap on speed ups to move from one to another. Plus it gave me the advantage of healing my troops again and filling up my army which I didn't do. This is one thing that you definitely need to take care of. When you heal your army in the main stronghold also uh, refill the army with those healed troops because if not you're as you can see you're just gonna be the same way. So after healing my army and not refilling it uh, I went back to the tent to slowly prepare for our next move. Right now their top side is completely clear so they gave up on that and now they're trying to focus on the fifth probably because they saw it worked last time uh, that they managed to reach the main one so they're kind of slowly trying to cheese us on the side considering they realize that they're not winning the uh, straightforward battles and again like we did with the top side we we are waiting to see their move and depending on what they're gonna be doing is uh, what we are gonna be doing this is why I'm not speeding up going back to the tent I'm taking my time because yeah there, there's until they do something that uh, gives us the goat, uh, we're not gonna be doing much. We're just gonna be waiting. I know everybody wants to win, and because you want to win, you want to <laughs> you want to kind of do it as fast as possible. Because if not, you're feeling like you're you're losing. But you should have the patience, if you have the power, if you have the better positioning, there's no point in throwing it away by doing anything rash. So right now you can see them already starting to send the majority of their troops uh, on the lower side, hoping to cheese us from there. But from the fifth you either go towards the middle where we have the defense team, or you go to the lower one and then to the main castle. But Again, the defense team has a position to just directly go back to the main castle before that and defend. While we are slowly uh, gathering up our attack team in the tent and getting ready to hit the 18. And then after the battle in the 18, pretty much go uh, to the main castle. You can already see that the 
a lot of our big guys are actually going back just in case because right now it's not about winning the defense it's about um, you, and this attack is actually to buy time it keeps our all our armies in the tent busy while they are uh, getting ready to attack on the lower side and this is why our defense team is getting ready to defend it but after we kill this we start marching towards the AT preferably on the time your leader says because this is one uh, one important factor and this is one thing I don't understand about players like this is not a hard skill matchup you have the strategic person and yes you do have to react to certain actions by yourself and not just wait for your leader to say absolutely everything especially if you are in the defense team but if the leader says to the attack team go on this specific time you just click on the building with uh, your finger ready to press attack and wait for the timer to hit that specific time there's no need to rush because uh, what's important is that uh, you have a combined attack so you can already see our defense team hitting the ninth there it's uh, again for the same reason to keep the enemy busy and occupied and not give them the chance to advance so they cannot attack us while they're in a fight with our defense team which means the attack team can now relaxingly attack without uh, having to worry about defense and we do have a stronger army than them so we can definitely afford winning this fight because we have more people in the attack than they have in the defense they sent quite a few people down there so the fact that our defense team is enough to keep them busy means we are gonna win the attack and we're gonna have straight a connection towards their main castle and this is pretty much the plan once this battle is over you want to be speeding up to the main castle uh, before the enemy team has a chance to even heal their troops because once the battle starts uh, you that's it you have to uh, do the battle with what you have and as you can see they don't have that much because they didn't have time to heal it so even though we lost a lot of the troops they also didn't have time to heal their troops so we're still in the bigger advantage and this is pretty much uh, how we got to win on DBD um, it was a good battle they had a good strategy but uh, they could have been way more proactive way more decisive with their action because it kind of felt like they tried something it didn't work they tried something else it didn't work but they didn't really had the next plan like once something is you either commit to something or you let it go and with that guys uh, this was the elite war between uh, dbd and tht i hope you enjoyed the commentary for it and i hope it helped if it did please make sure to leave a like as it does help out with the channel and of course subscribe for more content like this but that's it for me now thanks again for checking in and i'll see you guys in the next video